set for this one that looks like something right out of ancient mythology. It's as if you took the Hawaiian fire god and put him against Hercules up on Mount Olympus. Two just mythological warriors about to do battle here, but this is real life. And here we go, the tension here. Two big bad bulls about to lock horns. Cannot wait for this. Cobb extending a right hand and perhaps looking for some sportsmanship to get this match started. <laughs> Apparently not. And you don't want to do that to Hammer. Hammer will knock you sideways. Look at how Hammer controlling that collar and elbow tie up so far, pushing Jeff Cobb back. All That's right, well, the spot. <laughs> Apparently both competitors have two words for the other. But two incredible competitors that are well-traveled. Both have wrestled over in Japan in the land of the rising sun. And now right back here in PCW Ultra, but again, just the absolute hot streak that Hammerstone has had. All right, imitation continues to be the sincerest form of flattery, apparently. A lot of talk about Hammerstone being similar to a to another talent in this industry known as Many H's. <laughs> Jeff Cobb making fun of him, and Hammer's done. And good for him, he should leave. What is this? I don't think Hammer's gonna be outdone. Oh my God, that was the coolest thing ever. This is why your boy Hammer is the coolest guy in wrestling. <laughs> he poured that fan's beer on the floor. That was, that was like nine bucks just down the trash. Hammer's, your yeah. boy Hammer's not trying to deal, deal with yeah, that. The, the premium prices here in the Ultratorium. And a whole lot of attitude here by both. The fans not liking it, but Hammer couldn't care less. I asked Hammer, so after he defeated Brian Cage, utilizing the pedigree after teasing it time and time again, I asked him, were you giving the fans what they want or were you sending a message? He said neither. I was looking for the victory. A massive slam there by Jeff Cobb, and Jeff Cobb now controlling the head and neck of Hammer. A tough spot for Hammer when you have that massive Hawaiian on your back, controlling you, keeping you grounded. But look at Hammer, able to roll and counter. Yeah, but you can't grapple with an Olympian. Easily sits out and reverses position there, and now going for the ride is the powerful Polynesian, Jeff Cobb. This is not where Hammerstone wants to be, Christian. I'm sure it's where Jeff Cobb wants to be, though. In there with a superstar like Hammer. Your boy Hammer making waves all over the world. Jeff Cobb is honored, I'm sure, to be wrestling oh, look these at guys. this. Beautiful amateur takedown right into a pinning combination. We talk about making waves. Jeff Cobb will crash down on you like a wave on the north shore of Oahu. It's a great reference as we watch the Hawaiian Islands under siege with a volcanic eruption recently. And we wish everybody there the best, including the family of Cobb and relatives of Jeff Cobb. But tonight, he's in there with another type of danger, and that's this massive, jacked-up dude named Hammer. Now, we've seen Hammerstone in the past so effective with striking as well you think of the valkyrie missile do you think he tries to stay outside use reach and stay out of the grasp of the olympic grappler no that's a stupid analysis the fact is is that hammer is going to stick in there and go blow for blow and look at this and see that collision that's all hammer right there and the cojones for hammer to run in on a guy like jeff cobb and control him this way it goes to show how how fierce Hammer is in that ring. It's, it's almost as if the intensity takes over his body and mind. Just saying Hammer might want to use that reach and stay on the outside if he happens to go for the Nightmare Pendulum or the Stonebreaker. You put yourself in a position for Cobb to reverse, but Cobb right now is getting rocked. And he was had rubbery legs there as Hammerstone. Now, boy, this is a very deliberate Hammerstone. It is. But I want to talk about Hammer and how, quite frankly, he's, he's all, you talked about ACH being undefeated earlier. Hammer, very similar. Hammer, Hammer coming off several victories. He was able to beat Brody King. Have you ever beat Brody King? I, I would not dare try. And yeah, beating Brody King again with 
War Beast around the outside. Look at this. Pump handle. Suplex by Hammerstone. Trying to beat Cobb at his own game. Cobb just sprints back up. No, sir. Not today. It seems that Jeff Cobb didn't feel the effects of that suplex. It comes right back in with a throat jab. And look at the power of Jeff Cobb. Incredible. Release suplex throw there that sends Hammerstone all the way into the corner. Hammerstone not too accustomed to getting thrown around like that. We want to thank all of our fans at home watching on the Fight app live or on Amazon Prime. PCW Ultra is taking over this world. We're here in Wilmington. If you don't get down here for one of these shows, you are missing out. To watch superstars like this collide in this ring, you can see the sweat blasting off the chest of Hammer. And I've oftentimes referred to PCW Ultra as the full spectrum of professional wrestling. We've seen that thus far. Two great fast-paced, light heavyweight bouts, and now two big monsters. I mean, this thing looks like it should happen on the streets of Tokyo. It can do some serious damage. That's a Godzilla reference, yeah, is that correct? sure was. Fantastic. Jeff, Jeff Cobb able to get good elevation there for that drop kick. Hammer losing his wits up on that corner top rope. Oh God, look at Cobb now. Will he attempt a superplex from here? I think the answer is a resounding yes. We'll see if he can get Hammer up. Oh, look oh at the God. strength. He's holding Hammerstone in midair. Suspended one suplex. My goodness. We told you before this match started that we were going to witness two of the strongest men in wrestling. It's one and one A. Cover now. Can Cobb put him away? A count of one. What in the world? A up by Cobb. Insanity on display. Hammer nearly losing there. Cobb and all of his near 300 pounds caught every bit of that moonsault in the center of the ring. We're now stalking Hammer on the outside. You're right, partner, and call it instinct or luck for Hammerstone. He rolled to the outside, and Cobb right after him wants to keep the pedal to the metal offensively in this one. You can't give Hammerstone a breather. I'll tell you what I'm offended by. You want to talk about offense? I'm offended by Jeff Cobb not playing by the rules here. He's supposed to wrestle in the center of the ring. Get your opponent back in there. I believe it was Hammerstone that rolled out of harm's way after Tomato, the moonsault. Tomato, Tomato, Todd. This is Jeff Cobb's fault. Look at this now. Hammerstone elevates Cobb, drops him right across that guardrail. And as we saw in the battles, with Brian Cage, Hammerstone, an expert at using his surroundings as a weapon, but we don't want to see a count out here. Cobb ate all of that corner post as Hammer slides in and out, breaking the count. Hawaiian might be on soft foods only after that, might have to eat some poi. Hammerstone again with the misdirection. He keeps his opponents off balance. Love the psychological games of Hammerstone. If you ever heard one of his interviews, so compelling as a speaker I can talk about his opponents. Him. It was a four-point, four-part series. Yeah, I've heard him. You can find him at PCWUltra.com. And on the YouTube page, search PCW Ultra cover. We Your boy Hammer, one of the more compelling competitors here in professional wrestling today. Well, the way you talk about him, I think he's more your boy Hammer, but... He is my boy. I'm going to get an MBH shirt. My boy Hammer, and I'm going to be the only one who rocks it. And no, Todd, you can't have one. You're too dorky. Man. We've seen the athleticism on display by both. You saw the dropkick earlier by Cobb, de defeating gravity. And now Hammerstone minutes ago with a missile dropkick. And now a big dropkick, standing dropkick there by Hammerstone. Incredible vertical leap, and uh, he's got a little something extra left. Able to do that one-handed push-up. Hammer spends so much time in the gym, and it shows. People want to call him a douche or say that he's, he's, you know, all about himself, maybe a narcissist, a la Lex Luger. None of the guys in, that have pre preceded Alex Hammerstone are quite like him. He's a rare gem. And I look at him for inspiration. I don't care what anybody says. 
Oh, Hammerstone goes back upstairs. Well, it's been an inspiring meteoric roy rise for Hammerstone as of late, but man, look at the flexibility of Hammerstone coming right up the middle. And those clotheslines by Cobb, it's like you're getting hit by a tree trunk. Boy, something's got to give here. These two are trading like Wall Street, and Hammerstone succumbs to the big clothesline. Jeff Cobb, though, out of breath. He looks gassed, Todd. They will grab the rope, but no! Hammer still. But adrenaline can do wonders now! The German suplex the other way! This is like watching a home run derby, and these two sluggers are swinging for the fences. Valkyrie missile, but not able to capitalize immediately, Christian. Hammer dropped that Valkyrie missile. It's landed on, it landed right on the end of the kick. But Hammer exhausted in a ton of pain. And referee Austin Grimes now at a count of three. Come on, get up guys, we wanna see a winner here. Both men are up to their knees. That really should stop the count here, and it does. And who has that little something left in the tank? Who wants it more? Hammerstone keep this incredible streak going. Or will Cobb put it to an end? This has been a spectacle, my friend. It sure has. And out of the corner of my eye, I could see the legendary Hall of Famer, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, in his referee gear for our light heavyweight championship. Look at Cobb here, cover. You it has to feel like so much pressure to have a guy like that watching a match that you're in. Oh. In in incredible, and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, you know, is going to have a big role later on in our light heavyweight title matchup, but giving all kinds of wisdom throughout the day to the competitors. Inzaguri, there by Hammerstone. You could hear it just echo off the walls of the Ultratorium. Exploder suplex. Hammerstone is doing his damnedest to beat Cobb at his own game. And if Hammerstone can get this victory, what would it mean for his mission to become PCW Ultra Heavyweight Champion? Hammerstone picking up the pace. He seems the fresher of the two at this point. Running knee, back elbow, another vicious strike. Just turning Cobb inside out. Cobb though, counters, look out here. Cobb, boom! Center of the ring, Cobb counters. Can he put him away? No. Talk about Steamboat, boy. Steamboat, he had some battles with a powerful Hawaiian in his day. Big feud with Don Morocco, remember that? I do remember that. I was negative 12 years old, but that's okay. Look at Cobb now. Oh my goodness, the power, incredible. Running power slam. Notice the effortlessness by Jeff Cobb. Well, not only that, notice that Hammerstone immediately works his way back to his feet, though. What's keeping these two up? It's just instincts, Todd. It's like those punching bags you had as a kid that you, you knock them down, they bounce right back up. These two are incredible. That missile right there was on the money. Cobb now back up, though, but in a bad position. Front chancery by Hammer, and Hammer goes straight in. Nightmare Pendulum, he did it to Brody King, and he got him here. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you're the winner of the match. Hammerstone. Hammerstone digs down deep. That's the second time in a row that he has executed that nightmare pendulum on an opponent that we didn't even know if he could execute it on. Incredible to take the big man up, Jeff Cobb, and put him down with the nightmare pendulum. The dream match turns into a nightmare for Cobb. A nightmare for Cobb, a nightmare for anybody that wants to go up against Hammerstone.